Community Television. You're watching West Hartford Community Television. You're watching West Hartford Community Television. For the community, by the community. Ladies, we are on the road to destiny at the fifth annual Total Woman Conference on Saturday, April 20th, 2013 at the West Hartford Town Hall Auditorium in West Hartford, Connecticut. We are navigating life's transitions. But we are beginning that journey with a 40-day, 4-0, prayer and fasting teleconference. Why fast? Why 40? Why pray? Well, <laughs> Reverend Anani is in the studio with me today to answer those questions. Don't touch that remote. We'll be right back. Get ready to find hope. Get ready to be inspired. Get ready to discover your full potential. Get ready for total success from the Total Success Coach, Princess Bola Adelani. This is Princess Bola, the Total Success Coach, welcoming you to Inspired Success, your monthly dose of inspiration power the program that equips you with the power and inspiration for total success. That is success at work and in life. I am so excited about today's show. I am so excited about the fifth annual Total Woman Conference on Saturday, April 20th at the West Hartford Town Hall Auditorium in West Hartford, Connecticut from 9 a.m. till 5 p.m. I am so excited. And I know that I say that all the time. That's what you're probably thinking, you know. She says that all the time. She's always excited. But seriously, really, this conference, I am truly, truly very excited about. I'm excited about it for two reasons. One, I'm excited about the theme. The theme is the road to destiny, navigating life's transitions. I'm very excited about that theme because, you know, I, for me, there is no greater discovery than discovering why you were put on this planet. And that's what your destiny is all about. That's your calling. That's your destiny. And so f helping people to discover that for me is huge. I'm really excited about that. That's my life's mission. And I'm also excited because we've added two new features to your TWC experience um, to make it more in-depth, you know, to bring greater depth to that experience on April 20th. I mean, to make it more impactful. And um, that's what we're going to be talking about today, one of the features. So one of the features is pre-conference. The other feature is post-conference. So we're going to be talking about the pre-conference um, feature we added to make your TWC experience at the main event more impactful and more powerful. And that's something we call um, Destiny Calls. Destiny Calls. It's a 40-day prayer and fasting telephone conference. And, um, you know, it's going to begin from March 1st through March 9th. And then, you know, the next question is, so why 40 and why pray and fast? And that's going to be the um, center of our conversation, the focus of our conversation with Reverend Anani, who is a pastor, a local pastor, a published author. He's the author of so many books, and he's also um, a producer of so many um, musicals and a very well um, accomplished um, composer and a preacher. And he's in the studio with us to just talk a little bit more about the significance 
of that number 40, how that number 40 ties in with destiny and why we need to pray and fast. And so it gives me great pleasure to welcome to Inspired Success, the man of God, Reverend Dennis. Is Dennis right? Dennis. Anani, yeah. is yes, it right? you got it right. Okay, welcome. Thank, thank you so much. Yeah. And it's a pleasure to be here and uh, to be part of Destiny Conference and be part of everything today. Yes, it's a thank you, thank you, thank you. It's an honor to have you. Um, before we kind of dive into the subject of today, um, let's let our viewers meet you. Tell us a little bit more about who you are, you know, and your ministry. I know that it's located locally right. in, in his East Hartford, Connecticut. Yes. And um, just share a little bit with us about, about you and about your ministry. Thank you so much. Uh, like you said, I'm Reverend Dennis Anane. I'm the general overseer of Revelation Power Ministries in East Hartford, Connecticut. Um, I've been in ministry so over 12 years, and the Lord is doing amazing things in our lives. Uh, the ministry is more geared to empower believers to stand strong in the Lord. Amen. We do more of deliverance, healing, and prophetic uh, ministries. Good, uh, good. Empowering people and delivering oppressed by the blood and the power of Jesus. Amen. And God is doing tremendous uh, things. That's too awesome. That's awesome. Lives. And how long have you had your church, have your, uh, your ministry? Oh, uh, we're going into the fifth year now. Oh, and wow. Is doing that's thing. amazing. And you're a published author. And, um, <laughs> you know, that's very exciting. Um, so you're the author of, is this your first book? This is my first book, The okay. Winner's Secret. Attitude. Okay, uh, Attitude. The every winner has a secret. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I have a copy of this, yes. um, a, an autographed copy, and I really, really um, suggest that you get a hold of this book. You know, I read Thank it, and so then much. you also have your acronyms with the word power Powers. and word of you. Yes. yes. And um, so the winner's secrets, exactly. Every winner has a secret, and mm -hmm. you've, you've touched on that. You've revealed that here, and it's available on Amazon and Amazon all, everywhere and books are sold. Yes. Oh, wow. And then you are also a producer, right? Yes, and, by God's um, grace, we do uh, movies. Movies. Like, uh, Christian movies. Awesome, uh, awesome, awesome. Awesome. And then you, then there's the music that you compose. Is that was it? some years ago. Yes, a yes. music CD. Yes, okay. we do. Okay, awesome. And yes. so all of this can be found on... Um, and on online, online, on eBay, Amazon, and all that. People okay. can get it. Yeah. That is great. So yeah. thank you so much for being here. Thank so you. So we're going to kind of dive straight into, into this whole um, subject of mm -hmm. prayer and fasting right. and, um, you know, the 40-day prayer journey that... Right. Um, is going to precede the Total Woman Conference on April 20th. First, let's just talk about prayer first. You know, what is prayer? I'm just, first of all, I just, I'm just excited about this topic and uh, the theme for what you're about to do. Yes. Prayer is a very important thing. I see prayer as a communication between God and man based on respect. Mm. You know, okay. you have to respect the, and give honor to the God that created you. And there has to be a communication. You can't just bond with somebody without communicating. And uh, prayer is a form of we talking to God and God talking to us. Oh, gosh. I, I love it. That yeah. is my definition as mm. well. Very simple. You heard it. Mm. Because, you know, it's a universal thing. It's mm -hmm. a universal language. It's a universal. Everybody talks about prayer. Right. Especially when there's a disaster. <laughs> when, <laughs> when it comes to... a national the, disaster. Then the prayer comes in. <laughs> Everybody talks pray, pray, pray. <laughs> and then, you know, people talk about positive energy. Pray. I'll be praying for you. So it's, it is quite universal. Right. But really and truly, sometimes people feel like, you know, what is prayer? It's a bit right. complex. But you, you've hit the nail on the head. Right. Simply put, it's communication. It's a conversation. Right. It's a conversation with your father, with the heavenly father, father. you know, yeah. with the divine, you know. And um, conversations are two-way streets. You don't talk alone. You have to allow the other person to talk. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, so two ways. That's the part that I think that most people mm -hmm. kind of miss when right. it comes to prayer. Right. You know, we, sometimes we're the ones all just doing the talking. We pour it all on God <laughs> and say, God, okay, I'm leaving. <laughs> exactly. And we don't right. take time to, to listen. listen. Right. So there's a listening piece of prayer where mm. you really then have to kind of focus on the scriptures right. and meditate on the scriptures and try and really kind of hear what God is saying, right. you know. So that that is prayer. It's very simple. And anybody can engage in prayer. Anybody can engage because God has opened the, the door for everybody who is available yes. to come to him. So that's why he's, he's opening up the communication. Some people think you have to be a pastor or 
a leader or somebody, but no, everybody no, can come no, to absolutely, him. Absolutely, because everybody. it's just a conversation right. with, with God, your father. He said, come and let us reason together. Exactly. <laughs> and you don't need to be to, you know, have um, a special, you know, posture. No. You don't need to speak in some flowery <laughs> language. Right. It doesn't have to be in Latin and <laughs> so complicated and so very complex. Simple. It can be very simple. It's simple. It's as simple as how you and I are here right. having a conversation, right. having conversation. And so that's another very important thing to point out that it's not complex. It's not flowery. Yes, sometimes it's good to set up aside the time that's true. to schedule it, to find the place for it without distraction. But most of the time, you, you, it's just something that you can engage in anytime, anywhere. Anyway. You're driving, you're in the kitchen, you're anywhere. You're at work. You can do it silently. You can step out and, and just talk to God. Talk to him. I like yeah. what you said. You can talk to him anywhere. Absolutely. And the more you open up to him, he will talk to you. Absolutely. And the other thing, the very act of prayer, that, that's one other beautiful thing, you know. And you touched on it in your opening about respect. You see, the very act of prayer to me is also an act of humility. Mm. It is an invitation, an act of humility, an invitation to the divine, mm. to the supernatural, mm. inviting them to intervene, mm. to step into your affairs, you know, to, to take control, control, to guide you, to give you wisdom. It's an invitation because... You know, God is God is a gentleman. The gentleman. And he's giving us, uh, uh, we are free moral agents. That's true. And so he's giving us the free will, you know, to decide to invite him, to partner with him in right. our lives or not to. That's true. And so for me, the other piece of prayer, the very act of prayer is an invitation. So what that, we're that's saying, really nice. Yes. Invitation. I like that one yes. too. Yes. Yeah. We're, we're saying, God, you know, come in. Come in. Right. I invite you in. I give you permission. permission. I give you the authority. Mm. I invite you and, um, you know, intervene in my life, in my affairs, in my yes. business, you know? That's true. Because God is not going to get into your business if you don't invite right him, him in. Right. And so that's the other powerful thing, you know, ab about some, prayer. Some people want God to be responsible for their lives, but not have authority over their lives. Exactly. And, and I believe that wh whom you have authority over, you are responsible for. Exactly. So if God is having authority over mm -hmm. you, mm -hmm. he'll be responsible for you. So prayer is, like you said, inviting him to take authority over everything. Yes. Then you can go to him and everything, and exactly. he can answer. Exactly. And then so, he is responsible. Right. I like that. I like that. You give him the permission, and you invite him in. Right. And so... Um, you know, so most people engage in that. It's a universal language. Right. You know, people of different faiths and backgrounds, everybody prays in one way or the other, you know. And so, but when it comes to the question of them fasting, it becomes a little bit more complex for <laughs> certain people. We are now going into an Indeed. arena <laughs> that is, um, you know, deeper and a little bit more mysterious mm. to certain people, right. you know. For most people, the only thing they understand about fasting is during the Lenten season <laughs> right. or if they're Muslims during the Ramadan right. seasons. They just understand that you need to um, fast only at designated times. Mm. They don't understand that you can fast at your own at any other time right. of right. the year. Mm. So let's talk about fasting and, um, you know, the power of fasting, how fasting impacts prayer. And, um, you know, why the different kind of fast. Okay. And then why and when people should fast. And that, so that um, let's thing. go to that. So if you're just tuning in to Inspired Success, by the way, I have Reverend Anani with me in the studio. And today we're talking about um, the Road to Destiny, the fifth annual Total Woman Conference on April 20th. And the pre-conference spiritual journey we're taking from March 1 to March 9th, uh, to April 9th, the 40-day spiritual prayer journey we're taking. And, and so we're just talking about prayer and fasting and, and all mm. that good stuff. So tell, talk to me about fasting. That's really interesting. I like the 40-day prayer and fasting. It's, yes. it's really powerful. And I know as we go, we talk about the number, but yes. fasting is abstaining from things that are natural, physical things, and to enter into the realm of the spiritual. Okay. It's like denying the flesh. Okay. For the spiritual upliftment okay. when it comes to the spiritual things. And a yes. lot of people, I believe, don't fast because they are misinformed. People are not taught about it. They don't have a lot of information about it. And yes. some people think it's even something of the Old Testament. Yes. Old people were doing it, yes. and so I don't have to do it. But 
if we understand the principles and power of fasting, we will go into it and we receive the blessings of it. Okay. You know, when you read through the Bible, you see a lot of people fasting. Absolutely. You know. Absolutely. Jesus fasted. Mm -hmm. And then we, you know, we we have our roots as Christians right. in Judaism, Judaism, you know. So we're Judeo Christian. And so we look at the Old Testament, Moses mm -hmm. fasting 40 days, 40 days on two occasions. And I think Joshua, you know, a, a lot Obviously. of the Elijah, a lot of all those um Old Testament um mm -hmm. saints and patriarchs fasted, yes. engaged in fasting. But so simply put. Fasting is what denial, denial. of the physical, physical pleasures. Pleasures. Okay, to obtain to, it. for the objective mm. of going more into the spiritual. spiritual right. Okay, and so that's it. That's another very simple definition. There is the denial. Denial. It's the denial in the sense that. We know that the flesh and the spirit are constantly at war. You're fighting. <laughs> exactly. The flesh likes food. Mm. The flesh likes all those pleasures like computer games, movies, the internet, sex. The, 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 the flesh likes that. And the spirit doesn't quite, <laughs> you know. When that aspect of the human, of our being as humans is stronger, mm. then it deadens our mm. sensitivity to mm. the spirit, right. you true. know? Because Jesus was saying, man shall not live by bread, bread alone. alone. Right. That means that there are other food of the spirit, which is the word of God, word of God. that we can live by, mm. you see? So when we do the fasting, like you said, is then the denial of the fleshly pleasures mm. to be a better able to feast on the spiritual pleasures, the That's spiritual right. food, mm. the word of God, prayer, right. and be better able to be sensitive in the spiritual spirit. realm and lose our spirit mm. to be more in tune, in tune. you know, and being, right on the, and being on the same wavelength <laughs> right. as God right. is like tuning a radio. Mm -hmm. You have to be on the, you said it, God is what? A spirit. A spirit. Exactly. So you God need to is tune a into a spirit. So you to get God, to mm. hear God better, mm. to better relate to God, you have to tune in to the spirit. And so what fasting does is exactly that. It's it opening the floor this. for the spirit to work and bring exactly. the flesh to subjection. Exactly. And that's all it is. It's very simple. There's nothing complex about it. And like you said, it's something that we need to engage in. Mm you know, for the life of our, for as long as we really? exist on right. this That's planet. True. You know, it's not something, a one-time thing that Jesus did for us. No, because we're still in the flesh. So you constantly have to find ways of dealing with this flesh. This flesh. The and flesh putting is it always down, fighting. You know, right. and trying to minimize its hold and its strength over you and engaging and losing your spirit to be more in tune yeah. with God. So Amen. very simple definition, fasting, praying. And then now let's bring it together. So we're talking about a 40-day prayer and fasting, and we're talking about destiny. Mm. We're talking about this is the journey we want to take leading up to the destiny event on April 20th. So why 40 days? Why, um, you know, what is the connection between destiny, which is really your promised land, mm -hmm. you know, entering into your promised land, entering into what you were created um, to, to be, be originally, living in it and, and thriving in it, you know, entering into the promises of God for your life. So why would you then say, what is the connection within that 40, the number 40, then prayer, and fasting, and how does it impact destiny? That's a very good question, and I, I love the way we are bringing it all together. Because yes. you can't fast without praying. That's hunger strike. Yes. You got to pray and Absolutely. fast. Absolutely. And also, you, the number 40 is important. Uh, I begin to look into the number 40 and pray about it, and it was mentioned about 146 times wow. in the Bible. Wow. It's just 40. Wow. Whether it's 40 days, whether it's 40 years. It's just uh, oh, 49. 49. Yes. It's 146 times. Mm. And uh, you realize that the number 40 is a very powerful number. Even coming to the normal physical realm, people yes. work for 40 hours. And yes. they call it, I'm done. I've worked. Anything after 40 is all over time. Yes. But in the spirit, mm. God does a lot of things on 40. Yes. And I begin to trace back in the Bible that, you know, Moses, for instance, lived 121, 20 days, 20 years. And every 40, 40 years in his life was a transition. Mm. The oh, first thing that transition. was done every 40 oh, just years. Just hold that thought, <laughs> man of God. I want to key in on that. Right. 
Every 40 years was a transition. There was a movement. The movement. There was a change. Mm. There was a new direction. Mm. There was a new way mm. that God was now moving, moving in, his life. in his life. A new place God was transitioning him. Mm. A new place God mm. was taking mm -hmm. him after 40. After and 40. so you also looked at the natural and you said 40 hours completes really our job oh, for just, the for the week. You or, think you've done your destiny. <laughs> so 40 is that number of completion. completion, completion. It's, a, it's a completion. It's a whole. It brings you into a finished yeah. place. place. It's a whole number that completes a cycle, mm -hmm. you know. And then, like you were now saying, transitions you into, into, your, into your destiny or into another place, right. another position, you know. And so... Don't you touch that remote. <laughs> We're talking about the road to destiny. The fifth annual Total Woman Conference on Saturday, April 20th, 2013 at the West Hartford Town Hall Auditorium in West Hartford, Connecticut. And we are navigating life's transition and we are approaching our destiny. And more importantly, we are commencing that road to destiny via a 40-day pre-conference prayer and fasting teleconference teleconference if you look on the screen or go to the total woman conference website the call numbers the pin number for that prayer line is on there and so we're, we're talking with pastor anani about why 40 why pray why fast and why the number 40 and he's 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 just hit the nail on the <laughs> head. Talked about, you know, prayer first, you know, the denial of the flesh um, and uh, fasting and the communicating with God, the invitation to the divine to step in mm. and giving God permission, permission, the authority to come into your affairs, come into your life, take charge of your business mm. and lead you lead and you. direct you and open doors for you. Because we, we can't really do this by ourselves, can we? I mean... No one can really achieve that level of greatness and destiny by their own power, no. by their own self. And so now you said with Moses, every 40 completed a cycle, a cycle. and it was transitioned mm -hmm. into an, a new arena. That was really powerful because, um, you know, the first 40 years of his life was yes. a, a time of trial and discovery. Yes. And I could see that there was no connection between him and God. He was yes. raised up as an Egyptian. Yes. He has a God, but not the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Yeah. So we know the story how he had to run away from Egypt because of, you know, killing somebody and people finding out. The other 40 was in the desert. And whilst he was in the desert, yeah. he was just wandering, married, and looking around till he had an encounter with God. Yes. And that was where he started to discover his destiny. Exactly. And then the next 40, 40 was living, living his destiny, destiny. and so operating pretty, in it. So uh, it's, it's amazing. We have only five more minutes. I can't believe it. Time flies <laughs> when you're having fun. Right. But you, you've just got hit it, the nail on the head about that number 40. And then the significance and how it impacts destiny is that, you know, the, the, the road to destiny, achieving destiny is a fight. It's a fight. It's a spiritual fight. And that's what people don't understand. You know, destiny is, is the ultimate discovery right. of, of one's human existence. Mm, mm. And anything so valuable mm. is not discovered easily. Mm. It's not doesn't lie it's around apart, casually. Yes. If you want to go and discover, you know, gold or mine something, diamonds and all that, it's, it's an effort. There's, there's a fight. There's an effort. There's a work that goes with that. Mm. And that's what, um, you know, um, people need to realize. That's and true. that's the whole objective of this pre-conference um, prayer uh, teleconference. Because we really want people to arrive at that destination on the date of the conference on April 20, having dealt spiritually, mm. having removed spiritually the roadblocks, Road the obstacles, the things that stand in our way because mm. it's, a fight. it's a fight. It's a fight. There are roadblocks, there are warfare that we need to engage in and things we need to take out, the blocks on the road, the fears, the insecurities, you know, the generational things, Versus you know, and all that. And all that that, right. that needs to really be removed and then position ourselves spiritually and uh, in a way where we are now set and open to receive the information mm. that God will share with us on the 20th. On the, on the 20th. You know, it's a so blessing. 
that so, we enter into it with preparation. Exactly. Amen. So I really want to encourage you, the viewer today, to um, consider being a part of that 40-day pre-conference um, prayer and fasting teleconference. And, you know, you can fast anything, you know, anything, because we are all at different levels. You can fast one meal. You can even fast the internet, anything that gives you pleasure. You can fast your coffee and, and, and save the money and use it to register to be at the conference, <laughs> you know. Cool. And um, But it's just about really positioning your mind and your spirit and centering yourself mm. to be able to receive all that is in store on April 20th because it's going to be dynamite. Mm. I mean, this conference, I'm telling you, is just going to be off the chain. I'm telling you, dynamic speakers, you know, um, inspirational seminars, networking, you know, there's even now a new feature, the Afterglow, we're having a prayer center oh, where we're going to be ministering to mm. people amen. and all of that. It's going to be powerful. It's our fifth year, five years anniversary <laughs> and um, it's just a special one and God, I really know, has some great things in store. So the information for the telephone conference line, the prayer line is on the screen. It's well available at the website, Total Woman Conference. The registration for the main event itself on um, April 20th is also on the website, totalwomanconference.com. And you have a journal. You know, you have a 40-day... Um, journal to a stress-free life. Exactly. Journal you. to a stress-free life. Yeah. It's a 40 day as well. And I really kind of suggest that you get a hold of that journal, that book, and kind of use it alongside, you know, the prayer um, conference, you know, and just use it to, to kind of um, journal and write your thoughts and revelations and use it as a guide and devotional. You know, I, I, I know it would really, really change your life. I am super excited. The um, 40 day um, prayer and fasting teleconference begins on March 1, March 1st through to April 9th, 2013. So I look forward to seeing you on the calls. Again, you have the number on the screen and you can go to the Total Woman Conference website. And, um, you know, I also look forward to seeing you at the 5th Annual Total Woman Conference on Saturday, April 20th at the West Hartford Town Hall Auditorium in West Hartford, Connecticut. And, um, you know, it is going to be totally life-changing. Next month, we're going to dive into the conference, um, the details a bit more. And um, I am just so excited and happy. Your destiny is calling you. Amen. Your destiny Amen. is calling you. Amen. And I hope you say yes to destiny. Amen. And um, Reverend, thank you so much for your thank time. You so much, it's too. a great pleasure um, having you on Inspired Success. Um, and, you know, check him out and check out all the amazing resources he has. Visit his church. Is, mm. If you're local, if you're watching locally, um, his church is in East Hartford, Connecticut. And uh, visit his church. And um, I know you'll be blessed. Thank you so much for working watching this um, show. It says Princess Bola Adelani, the total success coach, reminding you to keep smiling. Hey, put a smile on your face. Life's too short. <laughs> keep learning. Keep networking. Keep believing and keep on keeping on. You are on the winning side. I'll see you next month. God bless you.